Hello everyone and welcome back to Drill Connect. I'm your host Olivia and welcome back to the channel. Sorry there hasn't been a few videos lately guys but we're back into it, getting back into it for 2023. Just want to thank you guys so much for 1.5k on YouTube and 100,000 followers on TikTok and over a million likes on TikTok. Like that's just crazy to me. Like the community we've built over on the TikTok and it's just ever growing over YouTube and Instagram. Like thank you guys so much. It's been crazy. So I'm starting a new series for 2023 called The Come Up and episode one is going to be none other than Central see let's get into the video guys make sure to like and subscribe and welcome to my new series the come up where i will be discussing the come up and backstory of some of your favorite uk drill rappers in classic drill connect fashion and a fan favorite of the channel our first episode will be on none other than west london rapper central c Born as Oakley Neil H.T. Caesar Sue, he grew up in a not-so-lavish lifestyle in the borough of West London, in the ends of his town, Shepherd's Bush. Growing up was hard for Sench, working jobs and trying to hustle his way to make ends meet for his family. When he was growing up, he would ride the bus outside of his borough of West London and open his eyes up to the rich versus poor culture that London has and the divided ends that he lived in. Especially in the West London Shepherd's Bush, it is so close to one of the richest streets in the city, Portobello Road in Notting Hill. He started creating music from a very early age and he would always hustle to gain studio time and make ends meet to put on for his city. He knew music was his only way out of his lifestyle and he had no other option than to make it work. The original rap music he made was very different to the UK drill grime music we see today and took on more of the auto-tune trapping sound which began to become very oversaturated very quickly. Sench was looked up to by his brothers, having to make a difference and escape the roads so close to home. The eldest of four brothers, Sench became wise to the perils and tribulations in a coming age in West London from an early age. Quote, I didn't have anyone older than me besides cousins who I didn't spend much time with. It made me grow up faster. I had to be more aware and responsible. He said, unflinchingly, another quote, there are a lot of invaluable lessons you can learn from the roads. I think I learned more on my way to, to and from school rather than in it, at least skills that would help me survive. Sench had to grind to make money in unconventional ways. He had a job at one point, so he needed to make money to go to the studio. Sench had his rivals, notably fellow West London rapper from Opposing Ends, Digger D, who grew up in Ladbroke Grove. If you want to hear more about his story, make sure you give this video a like and comment down below, and I might do an episode on Digger D next. From Opposing Ends, Digger D and his bros had beef with Sench, his little bro especially, and actually stabbed him one day in West London. There's a lot more info into this story that I'd like to go into in another video very soon, but this information is key to why Sench wanted to make it out. He almost stopped making music when he was 18 because nothing was really working out, but he kept going when he started to slowly see some positive things happen within his scene. Then 2020 struck, when he decided to make a change and switch genres after building a small fan base and community within London and the outskirts of the UK. His first UK drill track, Day in the Life, was featured with a GRM Daily Music video, which racked up 68 million views and at the time of this release he created a name for himself within the scene and paved the way for his music today. Following up the success he released the iconic tracks Molly and Loading. Central C has really paved the way for UK drill rap in London and in my opinion has been the face of the game ever since he began dropping drill tracks. He has been able to bridge the gap that there has been for so long and gain respect for his brand, music abilities and talent in the rap between the UK and USA beginning to take over the US market and has also made a big name for himself in the Australian music scene too, selling out festivals and headline shows. What Central C has done for London and the music scene is something incredible and something that I don't think any other UK artist will be able to replicate. I think this was also demonstrated during the headline and final show of the still loading world tour in London last November. The videos, atmospheres and guests that appeared in the show looked like it was something special and a huge moment for the city. I would have given the world to be there honestly. Central C is a very special artist and his come up is something extremely unique too. I'm very intrigued to see how and where Central C takes his talent in marketing and music too next and what other successes he brings to the table in 2023 and beyond. This has been episode 1 of The Come Up featuring Central C. I'm your host Olivia and this has been Drill Connect. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.